This is Cameron Chai from Hazon.com and I'm speaking to Tim Drake from Aspects and he's going to talk to us about the P7 Express. Thanks Cameron. What we have here is the uh, Benchtop PSIM. We call it the Express. It's meant to be used for a rapid uh, sample analysis, whether it's for manual imaging purposes or automated in characterization of processes for quality control. What we have here is a stage chamber that's about three inches deep. It's seven inches uh, wide at, uh, by about six inches uh, wide in the uh, X direction. It has 80 by 100 millimeters of travel, which makes it very flexible and allows for large samples to be uh, put into the chamber so that you can utilize it for analysis. Everything's contained uh, in the electron microscope for imaging and x-ray analysis. Uh, inside this one box, it's meant to be put onto a, a laptop bench top as an example. To the right here, we also have a couple of electronic boxes. One that uh, we want, would like to point out would be the, uh, the Hush House, which holds the uh, vacuum pump and maintains a very low uh, sound level so that you can put these into environments where uh, sound sensitivity may be of a concern. So what we're going to go through now is talk about the PSIM Express sample interchange. It's very unique for aspects in the sense that we have a uh, 80 by 100 millimeters of X and Y travel in this stage chamber here. It's a relatively large box so you can analyze basically up to upwards of a six inch sample uh, in diameter and basically do characterization work of that. The idea here is we have a 30 step pin mount. Once we have that loaded in we just push the chamber forward, raise up the, the, the uh, cover there, we hit the green check, and it automatically starts to pump down. Once it's ready, these lights will then change to green as an indication of you are uh, ready to analyze the sample. While we're waiting to, for that to happen, it'll take about a two, two and a half minute process. Also what you can put into that chamber are different types of sample holders. So in the case of product, uh, product control purposes, we can actually analyze these 47 millimeter filters. Once you have your material set into the, uh, onto the surface of this, we can just place those onto the carousel, load that into the chamber, and then it has a rotate module that we can utilize in order to scan through each one of those samples. And uh, the, as it pops down, the color changes on the, on the machine to, to give you an indication of what stage it's at? Correct. So once this uh, green light, the orange lights then go to green, which is what's going on up here, we can actually have an indication that the software is ready to be utilized and you can then analyze your samples. And going back up here, we have a two monitor uh, type display. It's meant to be a very user friendly interface. One is the uh, perception console here where you have all of the controls for the electron optics. And on the top, we have a uh, imaging screen. Here we're just looking at a, uh, a, uh, a bug specimen and we can also utilize a uh, left and right imaging uh, mode because we are an integrated SEM EDS vendor. We can actually go in and now zoom in on that. As well as it's easy to identify what types of materials you have. If you're looking at uh, particulates or uh, contaminations, you can acquire elemental composition spectrums as well. So what we're doing now is just illustrating some focusing capabilities and the usability of the software. Down here to the bottom we have a stage movement tab so you have you can see there's several different locations of where specimens that we have inside the chamber are. Right now we have three different types of samples. One thing that we're going to do now is actually move over to the particle sample. We're going to set up a quick automated analysis where we would want to utilize this for more quality control type environments. So. Um, while it's moving over to that position. Uh, in this case, we have a sample that's got several different types of stainless steel particles as well as copper and nickel particles. On the setup tab, we have the ability to uh, put in multiple runs. Here we have a list of 102 runs. If we just click on this analysis section here, we can input all kinds of information about what the sample is. Once the sample is set up, we just check our uh, video level thresholding. Anything that's in green will be detected and anything that's in uh, white will be analyzed as a particle. So if we just drop down our brightness here. So you can see these particles then that are on here. So the idea would be to do the size and shape analysis of these types of materials and then also identify what types of materials there are. 
So if we just go here and hit the go button, we'll be able to see the uh, analysis start live. I believe the uh, video levels are now set. So right now the stage is going to move over to the first movement and begin detection of features. Anything in green is being detected as a particle, it's being sized and shaped, and then the elemental composition pops up as identifying what the elements are that are present, as well as tracking what types of particles there are in that sample, utilizing user identified rules. And what sort of people usually buy this type of instrument? These are going to typically fall into uh, metals uh, industry where you're looking for steel inclusions inside of uh, steel lollipop samples as an example, or in industrial automated uh, process, process control type uh, facilities uh, such as automotive as well as um, pharmaceuticals. Alright Tim, thanks very much for showing us through the PCM Express. Not a problem, thank you.